Imagine this. A member of the infamous Hells Angels decides to spill the beans to the police, risking it all to bring down his former brothers in arms. But as tensions rise and secrets unravel, the consequences prove fatal. What leads someone to betray their own gang, knowing the consequences could be deadly? And how do these informants navigate the dangerous underworld of organized crime, where loyalty is everything? Stick around as we uncover the jaw-dropping stories of informants like Danny Kane, Noel Harder, and Stephanie Goddess Gagne, who played a crucial role in taking down the mighty Hell's Angels. Danny Kane's story started in Canada back in 1963. He was raised at Newfoundland, but later moved to Toronto when he was 18. That's where he got tangled up with the Hell's Angels. He was part of their elite nomads crew, known for being pretty rough and tumble. Trouble seemed to follow Danny, and in 2004, the police slapped him with some serious charges like dealing drugs and planning some shady stuff. Facing the prospect of a long stretch behind bars, Danny had a big decision to make. He could either face the music and risk spending years in prison, or he could spill the beans to the cops. Now, imagine being in his shoes. It wasn't an easy call. Those Hell's Angels weren't the type to take betrayal lightly. They were notorious for their retaliation against snitches. But Danny decided enough was enough. He took a leap of faith and decided to help the police. He gave them info on the gang's drug operations and even spilled some juicy details about their inner workings. Danny's cooperation was a game changer in the fight against organized crime in Canada. But it wasn't a walk in the park for Danny. He put his life and the lives of his family on the line by crossing the Hell's Angels. Those guys don't play nice with snitches. But Danny was determined to do the right thing, even if it meant risking it all. Imagine being in Danny's shoes. He knew that if the Hell's Angels caught wind of his snitching ways, it wouldn't end well for him. But he still went ahead and testified against his former gang members in court. Now, that takes some serious courage. Bollinger spilled the beans on some important info about how the Hell's Angels worked, which helped the police catch more than 120 gang members and their buddies. Can you imagine? It was like hitting the jackpot of info. And he even spilled some secrets from a Hells Angels meeting way back in 94, which kicked off a series of events that led to a huge bust. In exchange for his cooperation, Ballinger struck a sweet deal with the police. He received a hefty sum up front and was promised more dough down the line as the cases were settled. Some folks say it might be the biggest payout ever given to an informant in the province. Moving on, meet Noel Harder, a former RCMP officer who pulled off one of the most legendary undercover missions in Canadian law enforcement history. Now, Noel joined the RCMP back in 81 and spent the early part of his career busting drug rings and taking down organized crime. But in 93, he got tapped for something big, infiltrating the notorious Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. During his time undercover, Noel gathered a mountain of evidence on the Hells Angels' illegal activities, from drug trafficking to extortion to violence. He was a secret agent, gathering intel on the notorious Angels. But Noel faced constant danger, risking his life every day to gather evidence against the gang. And it took a toll on him, mentally and emotionally. Living a double life isn't easy, folks. It weighed heavy on him, leading to bouts of depression and anxiety. But despite the risks and the toll it took on him, Noel remained laser-focused on his mission. His hard work paid off big time, leading to the arrest and conviction of dozens of Hells Angels members and their associates. Talk about making a difference. Now, here's where things get interesting. Noel's credibility came into question during a court case involving a criminal named Clint McLaughlin. The judge in the case had doubts about Noel's reliability as a witness, which meant McLaughlin got off the hook on some serious charges. But let's not forget the bigger picture here. Noel's bravery and dedication helped take down some of the most dangerous criminals out there. He may have faced doubts and dangers along the way, but his work as an undercover agent will go down in history as one of the most daring operations ever undertaken by Canadian law enforcement. In 2000, his whole undercover job came crashing down when a fellow RCMP officer spilled the beans to the Hells Angels. Can you imagine the danger he faced? Harder had to hightail it out of the country, leaving behind his family to keep them safe. He knew his life was on the line, and he wasn't taking any chances. Despite the risks, Harder eventually made his way back to Canada and retired from the RCMP in 2003. 
but his legacy as an undercover agent left a lasting impact on organized crime in Canada. You see, sometimes you need someone on the inside to bust open these criminal networks. Harder was that guy, risking it all to bring down these criminals. But here's the thing, even after all he did, Harder didn't get the recognition he deserved. He was kicked out of the witness protection program, faced threats from organized criminals, and even got arrested for having a gun in his car. Now, that's what you call a rough deal. And let's not forget about the toll it took on him. Harder spent over 700 days locked up in solitary confinement, waiting for his trial. It left him broken and battered, but still determined to see justice served. Now let's fast forward to 2015. There was this massive biker bust with tons of drugs and guns seized, and who was at the center of it all? You guessed it, Noel Harder. But even then, his credibility was questioned by defense lawyers. They tried to paint him as unreliable, but the truth is, Harder risked it all to bring these criminals to justice. Sadly, Harder's story came to a close in 2022 due to heart complications, but his legacy lives on, even if he didn't get the hero's send-off he deserved. The cases he worked on are still making their way through the courts, and his testimony remains crucial to bringing these criminals to justice. Lastly, we're talking about Stephanie Goddess Genye, a name that's pretty big in the fight against the Hells Angels. Now, Gagne wasn't your average informant. He started selling drugs when he was just a teenager, and by the 90s, he was knee-deep in the drug game. But things took a turn when he crossed paths with the Hells Angels. You see, they started pressuring him to buy drugs from them, and before he knew it, he was tangled up with the big shots of the biker world. But Gagne's story doesn't stop there. He ended up behind bars for selling drugs to an informant, but even prison couldn't keep him out of trouble. In fact, it was there that he cozied up to Maurice Mom Boucher, the head of the Hells Angels. They became tight, hatching all sorts of schemes together, including some pretty sinister ones. One of the most infamous incidents involved Gagné plotting to blow up the Rock Machine's clubhouse. Yeah, you heard that right. Dynamite and everything, but he didn't stop there. Gagné was also involved in some brutal attacks, including shooting prison guards. But here's where things get interesting. Gagné eventually got caught and faced a hefty sentence, but instead of keeping his mouth shut, he decided to spill the beans in exchange for a lighter punishment. And let me tell you, his testimony was crucial in bringing down some big names in the Hells Angels. In 2002, Gagné's testimony helped Maurice Boucher receive a life sentence without the possibility of release. It was a shocking outcome for many, but it just goes to show the power of a well-placed informant. While their stories may have ended differently, with some facing challenges or even tragic endings, their legacies live on. Their efforts paved the way for safer communities and served as a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, one person's actions can make a significant difference.